James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today's August 6, 2023, 2 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've just had another M flare caught by our ghost X ray flux ghost satellite. It was an M5.45 right at 1840 UTC time. It is still coming down and still in M territory at this point. Looks like it's going to last at least an hour in M territory. Now, this is probably generated by Sunspot AR. 3386, just like the X flare yesterday. It was picked up by our GOES X ray satellite. And, ladies and gentlemen, NASA has come out and said that both events yesterday, the filament eruption and the X flare, have Earth components to them and should both be here on the 8th. They also warned if they arrive at the same time, we could see a serious geomagnetic storm. That would be August 8th, 2023. Let's take a look at Sunspot AR3386. This was taken at 7.06 this morning, and it was still visible and hadn't gone around the limb. Now we'll actually take a look at the explosion that is available on our GOES satellite. Jumping over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 angstroms you can see the explosion clearly out of Sunspot AR3386, which looks like it has made it around the limb, although the X rays were picked up by our GOES satellite and we can visibly see the eruption here on GOES at 195 angstroms. Now, strangely, although our proton event appears to be over. We're still having a polar cap absorption event. Radiation is seeping through the poles and being ionized. And you can see that this is not giving up anytime soon. But I'm guessing that this latest flare will reinforce that. This happened just now. And it happened right over the United States of America. You can see the time here is 1842. So our 1840 guess was very accurate. This is a large M5.45 solar flare. This was fairly long lasting starting before 1830. Still basically ongoing here. And this goes through right at 1900 UTC time. So over an hour and a half we've been in M flare territory. We would call that or refer to that as a long lasting event. So as I continue to tell everyone, Earth is moving into a situation where it's going to have the four gas giants behind it, Saturn, Neptune, Jupiter, and Uranus, where you have geomagnetic connections, of course, to our Sun, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Neptune, and Eris. And we will soon be connected to both Mercury and Uranus. We'll go through that real quickly. As Earth gets in between the Sun and these gas giants, we're going to see a lot of destructive weather, an uptick in earthquake activity and volcanic activity. We do have Mars opposing. All four gas giants are in less than a quarter of our entire solar system. You'll see Mercury jump on right about the 25th. 26 here and then believe it or not we get a geomagnetic connection as earth passes in between these gas giants and our sun with mars opposing mercury speeding around to cause more havoc and each time the moon lines up behind or in front of earth even more havoc is caused and then we catch a geomagnetic connection to uranus before jupiter which to me makes a little sense but that's what this chart says. By September 4th, we'll have a full connection to Uranus, Eris, Neptune, Saturn, Venus, and Mercury, and Pluto for that matter. Talk about dangerous. It looks like the storm has started. Every single time one of these 
sunspot groups gets towards or near our limb facing those gas giants becomes more complex and flares several times while facing the big gas giants. We will soon be in between those gas giants and our sun with Mars opposing and we'll have several lineups and again an uptick in bad weather and earthquakes and volcanoes should be seen over the next 100 day period. God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World, the start of the storm.